the head coach of the Florida Gators after the orange and blue debut presented by Sunnyland here on Sun Sports. And uh, let's go back down to the field now. Jessica is with Coach Kurt Roper and uh, Jeff Driscoll as well. Jess? All right, thanks so much, Larry. Coach, you've had the task of installing a brand new offense. How much did you feel like you saw it executed today? You know, I thought we did some good things. We obviously made some plays. Uh, I thought we did a good job of just functioning within the offense for the first really kind of debut. We took care of the ball. We got lined up, so I thought we did a good job. A couple of big plays from Adam Lane, a couple of big plays from a guy like Demarcus Robinson. Who really showed up today and made an impression on you? Well, I thought we had a lot of guys making plays. I think the thing that jumped out at me the most is there's, uh, you know, a lot of perception that when you play no huddle, spread, up tempo, that you're not a run team. I, but I think we show we're going to be able to run the football. Did you like the mix of both run and pass plays? Yeah, I thought it was good. I, we're going to be as balanced as we can possibly be. Games sometimes take on, you know, a different theme based on what's going on. But we're going to be able to do both. What's the focus over the next couple of months before the season gets started? Well, I think the biggest thing is is not starting at ground zero when we get back in August. But more than anything, we've got to throw and catch a bunch this summer. All right, thanks so much. Let's talk now to quarterback Jeff Driscoll. Jeff, Coach Muschamp said that this is an offense that he feels like really plays well into your skill set. How comfortable were you out there today? I was very comfortable. Um, 15 practices, you can kind of get a feel of how the offense is going to work. Um, we didn't install everything, but we, we do have a good base in, and I think most of our guys have a good understanding of it. How well did you feel like your offensive line protected for you? I think they did a great job. Some kind is kind of hard to tell when the quarterback's not live and you know the defensive line's pulling up, but I do think that they've been doing a great job working together and um, giving me time back there. How good a position is this offense in heading into the fall? I mean, I think that we got a long way to go, but we did have a have a good start here in the spring. Um, like I said, we still got a long way to go, but we do have a lot of a lot of playmakers, and uh, I think we have a chance to be special. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. Right, Larry, you. back up to you. All right, thank you, Jess. Thanks for everything from down on the field today. We got the shade. She was out in the sun all <laughs> afternoon long. Well, now, your thoughts on this team, what, what you see, what the potential is for this team for this fall? Well, I agree with the coach. I, I think that he's got a bunch of playmakers. He's got to be excited when you've got five, six receivers that can play. You know, you're, you're not forced to have to have one go-to guy. Even more so, your quarterback feel comfortable in this offense. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really come down to staying healthy along that offensive line. I, we all know that everything starts up Front. If those guys are healthy and they're feeling good about what they're doing, uh, we're going to be okay offensively. My concerns are going to be defensive. You know, uh, the fact that we're trying to replace uh, uh, three guys that were starters in the secondary last year. We got two guys on the on the edge. You know, we saw that McAllister can make things happen. We saw that Brian Cox can make things happen. So it, it's going it's going to mean a lot of guys got to grow up in a hurry, even though they've got a lot of talent on defense. And of course, two key defensive front starters, Leon Orr and Dante Fowler, did not play today. They will certainly be a factor this fall as well. And that enjoyed it as always. A pleasure working with you, my friend. And likewise, my friend. All right, that's going to do it to it for us here at the. Swamp in Gainesville, the orange and blue debut presented by Sunny Landar. We thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. Our thanks to our producer, Mike Griffin, and our director, Jimmy Lee Starling, the 50th. For Jessica Blaylock and Nat Moore, I'm Larry Vitell. Thanks for joining us. Have a great one. We'll see you next time from the University City of Gainesville.